All right, it's been a couple of days since I played Captain of Industry now, and we have our colonists here living in some little shipping containers, and hopefully they're all fine and dandy. But I want to wish you all a good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Hopefully you're doing well, and let's start off with today's video. So the first production line that we started was the iron one, and if you remember, we had the blast furnace, and that goes into this molten liquid channel right here, which goes into these two metal casters. Then the iron plates from here go into the storage down here, but then them iron plates also get distributed into these assemblers where it makes us some more advanced materials, especially the fundamental ones. Because yes, this game can soft lock us uh, and all that kind of good stuff. So we've got some like mechanical parts, we've got some electronic parts, and we have some vehicle parts and so on and so forth. We have no form of automation yet. We are currently using the vehicles to transport from A to B. And hopefully as we work our way through our tech tree, we can start working into conveyor belts, which is up here. So hopefully, and fingers crossed, we can start looking into them today, but we actually need to start looking into construction parts two with an assembler part two and then just beyond that we have some like advanced logistic controls transport balancing concrete production the fuel station which is i think is going to be a very vital piece of infrastructure for us because our excavators right here are currently filling the trucks or grabbing the iron or coal or copper from the designated mining areas and eventually they're going to need fuel and what they're doing temporarily right now is driving from here all the way to the docks to actually grab fuel themselves and we want to reduce that and then we set up the brick production which is the rain collectors go into the storage containers which then go into these two brick production buildings and then just beyond the trees from the brick production we set up our uh, oil facility which is we have our three basic pumps here which then goes into this building and this building creates us diesel and also wastewater the diesel goes into this storage container which then moves on to this which is our rubber maker which requires diesel and coal and our coal is going to be coming in from this uh, building right here because we don't have any conveyor belts right now we have to get a vehicle to deliver from here to actually here to actually supply it and then our wastewater comes down into this little pipe which just dumps it into the ocean uh, because we don't protect turtles around here apparently because who needs turtles <laughs> <laughs> and then over here we have our good old forestry vehicle is going to be chopping down our trees in this designated area here you can kind of see where he's already been going at and he's just kind of delivering logs over into basically this area right here now into this storage container um just so we kind of distribute it to where they need to go and the only place right now they kind of need to go is into the coal maker and then this is going to be really become like redundant because like we are going to start working into this little mining little mound right here uh, and start taking coal from the ground instead. And if I open the dumping designation tool, we can kind of see where we're going to be kind of dumping any minerals or anything like that that we're picking up from our excavators uh, into a said location. And what I'm trying to possibly do is maybe kind of extend this out here so we can kind of build extra harbors, potentially, hopefully, fingers crossed. So it's been a couple of days since I played now and I've had so much stuff going on. Uh, so if you're enjoying these videos, remember to like, subscribe and also leave a comment, even if it's just an emoji. Uh, and if you've not seen the news in the Discord as well, I put my yearly announcement out, which is basically these. You might have just seen the new panels up here now. I'm now aiming on this channel to release content every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And then the More Bitch channel is being booted up as well with daily content. So if you're interested in that, I'll put links in the description. So first up, let's have a look at what our supplies are at. We have a little bit of a downfall in our potatoes. Uh, we have an uplift in our iron, so and everything else is kind of just flatlined right now. We have no research. Uh, we do have some copper production uh, task over here on the left-hand side. Establish copper ore mine and start mining copper ore. And the only copper ore we have right now is over in this general vicinity, uh, which we do have a little bit of a pass to kind of get around. So the only place they can kind of move is over here, and that's going to be a bit of a trick to get from A to B. So it all depends on where we kind of want to put our copper production, and more than likely we're going to want to put it over here. But saying that, this area does have a little bit of a terrain difference, so it's going to be a bit of a pain, so we might have to put it in more of a 
flat location so we might have to put it into that this general vicinity but again that's still a trek to go from over here to over here with vehicles so we might need to double up our a to b logistics but it's telling us to build a blast furnace a metal caster and smoke stack and enable recipe for copper ore processing and then build copper electrolysis uh, to connect it to the rainwater harvester but if you remember last time we kind of got some new vehicles being produced which was this new excavator because we do want to add it to this system well to this um, area right here i'm going to get two assigned trucks maybe we only need one to be honest but we'll see because i'm trying to trying to think of where coal needs to go to it's going to need to go here it's going to go over here and then also into this area as well i don't think it's going to need to go to the copper i don't think it will need to but we are going to need to get a new small excavator and two new pickups maybe four new pickups actually just because if we go over into our copper vicinity uh, of where we want to kind of want to get stuff built then we go to aim and put a tower down uh we're going to need to designate this area as well so let's kind of go into you edit the area uh because we do have the toilet bowl right here i'm just debating on what we kind of want to do with this do we want to head down here or or what because we do have like a an oil production down here right if i go into the layers yeah we can clearly see there's oil down here um quite a bit of it to be honest and what's this oh that's just sand but like i said there's no other means of getting copper except from over here into this island which means we kind of need to get over there somehow and the other thing i can think about is either we build a little bridge to get across here and then build a ramp up inside because i feel like building a ramp from here to the top level will take a lot longer than a bridge to go across than an excavator removing the soil and building a ramp up i think that's gonna be the best way because look at all this iron look at all this copper and there's even a tiny bit of rainwater in this valley so i've got to remember that planning mode is still on and we do need to activate this so planning mode is now been well i've did, I allowed this to be built um and then we want to kind of assign two maybe four trucks to this uh, but we do want to edit the area uh, and we are going to just kind of just cut in straight into the mountain here i guess um what's going to be the best way to do this i guess just like that maybe then we'll go to mining designation we will just get a flat line go from 0.6 and just cut our way through i guess maybe let's extend it a bit more so i don't have to come back to it as much and here comes our first vehicle who should be on his way to make the mining tower and he should just come over here drop them off and i don't think he's brought enough to fully build it maybe he has he actually has so our new excavator has now been made which means we can assign it to here and then bring it in uh let's bring in two trucks for now and then we will then add the other trucks once the other trucks get built but he's going to take some time to get over there these are already starting to get off i want to kind of prioritize you to make uh, to grab coal more importantly uh dirt is coming over here and if you remember last time i actually assigned this to keep full which meant um they wasn't extracting the, well they, they wasn't um, picking up the dirt from here to actually make the bricks which if you remember i was pulling my hair out and that's where we ended last episode so hopefully he's now grabbing some coal which we can kind of see he is he's getting some dirt and coal at the same time um and a lot of you have been commenting as well uh in the previous video that obviously your gameplay your thoughts how long you've been playing it and a lot of you seem to enjoy the episode one so again thank you so much for the love and support and here comes our excavator slowly cresting over the hill and uh, we do need to name it so if you're interested in becoming a vehicle in this game or even and something else make sure you hear that join button on the youtube and help me support what i do uh, full time and we already have two vehicles here ready to move that dirt and grab that copper and then he's going to start excavating and then he's going to start dumping it into our good old vehicles so he's going to start leveling out the ground because obviously we pushed it back a little bit and it'll start filling up our trucks which are super small even though they look kind of large we're going to get larger ones in the future like i've seen the next tier up ones uh and uh, they're pretty insane but then if we go to more of the end of the research tree we can see mega vehicles we can get some whole trucks we get some whole trunks with tanks mega excavators and that's going to come later down the line so now that we've got the coal up and now we're also starting to extract the copper we can start looking into our basic uh copper production which it is telling us to put um and start mining copper ore. okay we need to wait for that build the blast furnace okay so we need the blast furnace the blast furnace was in here and we're going to do copper ore and coal is going to give molten copper at 24 per minute 
And then it's going to go into here, where it's going to make impure copper at 12 minutes. So we're going to need two metal casters. And then it needs to go into a copper electrolysis, which is going to consume all the impure copper. And it's going to need six water to make 19.5 copper, which is an odd, odd number. So first, let's put down our little blast furnace. We are in planning mode, so anything I put down is not going to get built. And then we're going to put down two metal casters, which we're going to basically set this near enough the same as what we did with the iron production. So the blast furnace and two metal casters and the electrolysis over here. Uh, we then need to... Maybe I should bring the water pipe from over here. Maybe that would have been the best. Maybe I move this. So if I control X, I can cut this and move it over here, right? I can. And we can just bring the water from over this side, which, to be honest, will make more sense. So now we've got this blast furnace, which does need import of two items. So we're going to go bulk storage, well, loose storage. Um, we are going to put down basically you there and you there. We're going to assign you to copper and assign you to coal. And then we can't do conveyor belts yet, can we? No, or the rubble or loose conveyor belts. But we can put them there ready for it because we are going to unlock it soon, right? Um, and I've left this one open here because we want to bring you along here connect you into there then you into there and then we need to bring a pipe in which i want to come in after the storage so if we can bring that from here bring that up by two so the vehicles can go underneath it and then just kind of bring this along here i guess take that to there then bring it down into there get that built we also need to build a smoke stack Oh, that's going to be a pipe. I need to go into Waste Management, Smokestack. Place you into there. Cool beans. Um, so obviously I can't do anything else here because I can't do any more conveyor belts. Uh, I could put storage down, I guess. So we could put unit storage. And I guess we could kind of go with you. And then we'll make you into copper. And I think that should be good. I think we should be kind of set up for that now, right? We go into here. We set the recipe to that. We're going to set you, we're going to disable that one, and you're kind of set up anyway. So I guess we can just kind of hit the play and pause button on that and get everything built and watch our trucks get to work. Uh, and hopefully the rest of these have been built. They have, which I would presume we now have eight vehicles. So let's assign this to be four. So I don't think two vehicles is going to be enough to take stuff from here to here in time of consumption i'd rather be safe than sorry what i am going to do though is going to put a couple more storage containers down i don't know why i just didn't copy that one um i'm just going to make these into wood storage so i feel like they're going to be kind of useful i still i need to set my key bind up for this as well to make it a lot easier for me but we can kind of see our copper production being built ever so slowly so it shouldn't be too long before we can get this up and running like i said in the previous video you do have to like just kind of sit back and relax and just watch stuff happen it's kind of fascinating it's like a weird weird you could say kind of obsession <laughs> but there we go that's kind of the main things being done the pipe's now being done in the back and so's the molten um trough right here uh, but if we have these and we'll make sure we can keep this kind of half full and we kind of keep this half full as well but what we don't want to do trucks will not be allowed to pick up cargo from here we don't want that and we don't want that for them we want them to import, but we don't want them to export because this is for the copper only. So now in our little quest over here, we just need to produce copper at 10. Uh, and we've still not grabbed any copper ore just yet. Maybe I should just go to the excavator and make sure it's a priority set to copper because there is copper showing here. Saying that though, he's trying to rip off the last bit of soil. I should have got these uh, being chopped down here. Maybe I'd do that. Let's get these chopped down and let's remove all of these over here so they can prioritize them trees because i feel like this might be a little bit of a waste over here because as you know we do not like to waste products i'm also going to add two loose storage to the actual iron setup as well and we're going to make one for iron and one for coal uh, and then we're going to get them being done also because right now our iron production is kind of on hold as you can see he's quite holding quite a bit of it he's got nowhere to send it so i'm just going to kind of stockpile it a little bit up around here so then the vehicles aren't going from over here to then over here just to dump it off and not there it's over here isn't it 
over here. They can quickly go into there and into there. We've also got ramp for vehicles, um, which I'm going to guess is going to be for like the excavators to go over the pipes. We've also got blueprints down here, the captain's office. Uh, but I do want to kind of pro like focus on the uh, prioritize the conveyor belts. So let's kind of get them moving. Um, and then I guess we can kind of go for the blueprints and then the fuel station. Groundwater pump as well with irrigated farms. Let's get them running. And I guess we need to start heading into concrete production as well next. That's pretty cool. We've got like retaining walls, custom services, floors, smart conveyor routing, maintenance depot too. Oh, and a stacker. That would kind of help with uh, sending like slag out of machines and dumping it into one area. Oh boy. And then we've got biofuel, advanced diesel, basic uh, desolate. These are lit. These, uh, huh? <laughs> Desolate. Des, des. I'm not even going to pronounce that. You guys can just chuckle at me just trying to pronounce it. Our vehicles are currently set to busy right now, which means they might need a couple more friends to uh, help them with the lords. But I do suppose we have got a few things a bit being built right now, right? Let's have a look at our world map though as well, because we do have a damaged cargo ship. This damaged cargo ship needs to be repaired before we can use it. It requires 240 iron ingots. Interesting. Well, let's send our ship over to the next area. We'll get him to explore. 240. We only have 100 173. Um, but hopefully that will get raised because we are building quite a bit right now. So I don't want to put too much jobs on everybody because we'll just get stacked and everyone's going to be busy and all that kind of good stuff. Okay, so I've left it running for a little bit now, so some time has progressed. Bryloy Gaming has no trees to harvest. I should have really set that up before I went uh, AFK for about half an hour. Um, so maybe we should really kind of start getting these trees down cut in this area. Like in this kind of central area where more than likely we're going to be looking at future builds maybe over here because we are going to get irrigated farms soon so maybe we had some farms over here we start looking into getting all these cut uh, and all that good stuff but we've also got copper production now which we've completed that so we can do that we are currently grabbing that copper right yeah he's kind of chilling grabbing that copper from there and uh brylor over there is going to start working on his next products well his next trees all right, so we're going to name this one here, which is going to be Nazgul. Uh, so thank you so much for being a YouTube member, and you are now the copper or excavator. Right, so the next thing it's telling us to do is build a new assembler and produce construction parts part two. Is this going to be in this one? It is. We need construction parts one and electronics. I'll say so we can just kind of scrub one of these. I'm just going to stick it on the end of here, I guess. Uh, we'll get you, and then we'll get you to be you, and then get you sorted, and then kind of get you built. And then we'll get construction parts too. I guess we'll need a storage down for this as well, right? So let's just kind of put you down, and then we'll get you to be construction parts too. Uh, and then pause the coal maker to save on wood. Okay, I guess we can do that. Pause. So we are mining coal, which we kind of did, we did preemptively before we got told it. Then we've got this one done. And then we've also now got um, conveyor belts. So now we've got a flat conveyor belt and a U-shaped conveyor. So the U-shape will give us, will transport rubble and all that kind of stuff like loose storage. And then the conveyor will be like packaged and all that kind of good stuff. We've also got a captain's office now, I guess, which we can kind of put down. And we've got a message in the message center. There's too much in here trying to grab my attention. So I'm just going to click all the way through these and just pretend we've read them. That's the easier way to get rid of them. We've also got a shipyard. Serves to refuel, repair, modify. Wait, no, we have one of them. It's this, right? Yeah, it's this. So why is that lit up? It just allow me to place another one down. It's kind of like a second ship. Speaking of ships, how did our ship do? He just searched this place. There was nothing there. Okay, let's get him to search this one. He'll set sail and honk honk his horn. Something I've just realized as well, we are actually over on our power which is an oopsie. We need to put down a second fuel generator. Where did I put the other one? Oh, it's here. I guess we could add this over here now, couldn't we? I guess I got to put one there, one there, then grab ourselves a cheeky little pipe and then just kind of bring you in there, get you connected and then get these kind of automated then because that's going to save us the job of a truck delivering fuel from here to the actual diesel generator itself. So once these are up and running like so, we should then, yeah, we jumped up to now 2.4 megawatts and we can actually get rid of this one over here. Otherwise, they'll still try to deliver diesel here. 
which we kind of don't need. So let's get rid of you. And then the diesel, I guess, will get stored either in there or into this storage over here. All right, so construction is done. So let's get out there. Connect several machines using conveyor belts. We can actually do that. Let's do the copper one. So we're going to need a U-shaped one, which is going to go from here to there. And we're going to need another one to go from there to there. And that's going to be them connected up. Uh, we can also now connect up copper, right? So if we bring this around here, into there, into there, then you need to come out here and connect up to that. So that means they're connected, which we've now just got that objective done. We need to currently research the fuel station, which we are doing anyway, and it improved the slag export. Build loose storage and connect it to the existing blast furnace using a U-shaped conveyor to output slag. Hey, here we go. Here's all the copper coming out. And these can get put into here automatically. I don't think we kind of need to put these into storage. I wouldn't believe we need to, unless we want to make a buffer. But I guess I can just make something a little weird here by bringing this conveyor belt down, bring it behind here, take it over, and then try to connect this up here. But it is, I guess we can kind of make it a little S bend. <laughs> then we can just kind of get the copper. I'm just trying to reduce the amount of jobs the vehicles have to do because there's no point in getting the vehicle to go from here to drop it off into this storage. This storage would have been best off over here, right? That would have been the, the best thing to do. I guess we know for next time if we do want to extend because these aren't going to be here forever, right? These are going to be here for now to give us the basic fundamental items. And then once we start looking at, okay, we're now going to do like a proper production plant, we can then organize it that way. So let's do the same with the iron production line. Let's bring this out of here and connect them two up. So that we iron going into there, coal going into there. And then the iron plate storage. I guess we could even move the iron plate storage to actually over here, like so. Connect them up. And then we need to improve the slag production, right? So it did say, just as in a little thing to do, is if we put down you and then grab ourselves you put you straight into the oh and then get you to store slag but what i want to do oh slag i uh, want to do we don't want this to be full because if this gets get if this gets full it's going to um block up this right so if we kind of keep this empty but have some storage or stored i should say we'll be okay because i'm going to guess the slag is going to go to the concrete production I guess I should really add one to the copper setup as well, right? And make this slag, right? Makes sense. Okay, what can we do over here to help the production of coal? So the coal can come out here. Oh, I'm using the wrong one. You to come over here, I guess. You into there. And then we could also get the output of this to go into the storage as well. Just reducing them truck jobs. Otherwise, we're going to have 100 trucks. Well, more than likely, we will do at some point. I'm just curious, what's going on here? Are we not getting uh, we're not getting coal delivered here? Ah, I guess we could do that, right? Kind of keep this up here. Get coal to go into that way, coal all into that way. Let's increase this one just because this is kind of serving two buildings, right? I guess. I'm curious how much oil we've actually got left here. So I don't think we can actually get a full estimate. If I click on this, will this tell me? Oh, we do. Reserve status. So you get 50,000. Okay, so we've already consumed 2,000. Or well, just about. So we've improved slag exports. And now we want to do fuel station, which that sign of the bell is actually what we've just unlocked. So if we go into buildings, we can actually do a fuel station now. So I guess we will add this over here. Uh, and we will just kind of, I guess, just attach it here, I guess. Since there is a, a what's it called here? A junction. Connect that up to there. And I'm going to guess, yeah, I need to assign some trucks. So let's assign two of them. And then let's build two more. Oh, boy, and I just noticed, what, two months of food left. <laughs> okay, so have we got the new farms yet? Groundwater, we don't. We're going to have to put another farm down, like, now. Okay, let's put you down. We are definitely running out of potatoes. So we have the groundwater pump actually being researched now. Then the irrigated farms. Crop rotation as well. So crop rotation will allow us to keep this fertilized well the the fertility, uh, fertility uh, equilibrium yeah currently waiting for water or rain so this is a pain so obviously having the irrigation ones will have to set up a water supply to actually supply water to them which i guess will give us better throughput and everything seems to be running fine and dandy right now we can collect the fuel station uh, research settlement water settlement water 
Where's oh settlement water? Oh, so we can add water to the actual colonies. Okay, and then housing too. Let's get that, and then vegetable farming. Okay, I guess we need crop rotation. Yeah, we need crop rotation as well. Tree planting. Okay, so I'm just going to put the captain's house, like, over here. What does this give us? Enables you to declare edicts that can significantly affect your island's population and industry. Some edicts can provide you with benefits, but may cost you monthly unity. Other edicts can generate monthly unity, but these typical re uh, typically require you to provide something in return. Edicts can be toggled anytime. Okay. So if we look into the captain building, you can see growth boost and plenty of food. Food consumption is increased by 25%. And that will give us plus one to unity. Growth bro uh, boost, pops uh, population growth increased by 0.40%, which is negative one unity. Industrial, vehicles fuel saver, which will reduce. We are making 1.26, so if we do add this, it'll only give us 0.26 a month. And uh, maintenance reducer as well, okay. So we have got six months of food, and this one is still not... Um, I don't know if this one's actually just finished, actually. It might have done. Maybe they both did. But we have 206 people with 33 workers. I'm just wondering if we bring in uh, another housing settlement here. Um, just because we are about to do some upgrades and maybe we're going to need some more workers and more people. But it does require more food. But hopefully our irrigation farms will actually fix that. Oh, we've got an assembly Mark 2 now. So what's the difference between a Mark 1 and Mark 2? Okay, it's just 200%. So we can see like the construction parts two requires six here and three and produces three. We're in here. Yeah, it's 12. Okay, so what's the power? 80 kilowatts, 40 kilowatts, six workers, four workers. So you're basically saving yourself one worker. That is the only benefit. And the assembler mark two does require maintenance. Got to keep an eye on that as well. But I guess if we have like multiple of these construction parts like we do here, like this one and this one, I suppose you could just remove them both and upgrade. Can we actually upgrade? Upgrade. We could. Then I can just remove one of them. Let's do that. Let's upgrade that one. Then let's delete that one. What I could do as well is obviously some of these recipes in here require mechanical parts, iron, and electronics. So we could look at possibly getting these to be automated as well, which is not a bad shout, to be honest. All right, I'm going to try and get the bricks to be automated. But we have these pipes to kind of play with right now. I kind of want, I guess, you to go into there. And this needs to come over here. So vehicles can't obviously go around this area, but hopefully that helps. And what I didn't realize I did as well is I should have raised this dirt to be higher. Because this hasn't had any dirt in it, which means this hasn't had any bricks being made. Because there's no dirt in here. Um, so... That was a boo boo on my end, but because they've mainly been dumping it. And you can kind of see how much it's been extended. And we've got all this trash here. I'm just wondering if would it be best to dump the trash elsewhere and just have dirt come over here? And because maybe because I'm pretty because I'm pretty sure in here, look, we have a burner. And a burner accepts waste, but gives us air pollution. And I don't mind pollution, but I really don't want this. So it looks like they're all bunches of hats. If you look, there's like a pink hat there, beige hat there, another beige hat here. <laughs> I've also doubled the wood production, the wood storage as well, because I feel like we we do need some clearance. And what I've done is I've reduced the area of where we can need, uh, I want to actually get cleared, because I did put down quite a large area, to be honest. But I do need these new irrigated farms, and I need the... Um, Forester to kind of cut down here so we can start looking at this because we ha we are about to unlock them And I have just unlocked the groundwater pumps, which means I can put these down into here uh, And then put them into the irrigated farms But that is a lot of water here, but it doesn't look like there's much in the ground Which could be a problem What I should really do though is I should really define this and micromanage it a bit more so we can get rid of this first, because I want to put a, a saying that though, we could remove this. So maybe I can put one down here first, and then we can kind of start working up here. So Brylar, get cutting them trees down. We need your service. Okay, so I've decided to come check on the ship, and he has found an oil rig level two. 
But if we send construction parts here, we could potentially get, I'm guessing, this ship over here, this cargo ship, to work for us to deliver from the oil rig to the actual um, island that we're on. So that is pretty cool. So we do have 214, like, parts, well, tier 2 parts, construction parts. So I'm thinking we do start the repairs on that. So, so let's get him to go home and then let's start in here, start loading the ship of 120 construction parts. But I guess we might as well start the repairs on this and then get them repairing as well, them being loaded onto the ship as well. So we can start doing two. But we've also just unlocked the new irrigation farm. So I'm just going to remove this. And then we're going to go into farming and put an irrigated farm down. And hopefully they can remove this pretty quick. And then we can add the new one down. So this does allow, it looks like, water and fertilizer to go into here. So let's throw that down there. Which then does mean, how much water does this need? It needs 36 on average per minute. And our water bumps provide 48 per minute. So I guess we can just throw you down here. So let's put you down. And then let's get a fluid storage. Connect that up. And then grab ourselves a pipe. And then bring that along here. And we're going to run it alongside the farm. And then what we're going to do is we can drop that down into here. Like so. But then also we could get this one remove this one flip it which is what we're going to do and then the water can go ah oh, saying that though we can't do that can we because this will only hold 48 and it requires 36 so that's a, a booble but still let's get another farm down and let's just kind of just push it to about there then i guess we'll get another pump so we'll get this we'll copy this paste that down and get ourselves a pipe and get you to run alongside our currently already built one and then you can come into here and then connect into there like so and in here yep you're gonna make potatoes the water's connected water's being stored and you currently have only fifteen thousand water in the ground okay noted so let's hit on pause and hopefully that gets running. Add fertilizer here as well. There's three different types of fertilizer, which obviously we don't have the access to yet. What are you guys needing? Oh, you guys. Oh, I didn't realize you needed 60 tier two parts. And how's my ship done? It's got 120. So you can actually go out and do what you wanted to do. But let's start loading the iron plates up as well, because you might as well have two jobs at once, right? And there we go. We can already see the irrigation go going in. And it obviously doesn't need rainwater anymore. Um, but what I'm thinking about doing though is maybe, and one thing I do need to find out, maybe you guys can let me know in the comments, does the rain, when it starts raining, literally perfect timing, uh, does it start refilling the groundwater as well during the rain? Which I'm curious about. Actually, it did look like it, because this looked like it was back on 15,000. So I'm curious, maybe the more pollution we make, the more it rains. That'd be interesting. Right, so let's over to head over here and then deliver the cargo to there. So now he's going to go and deliver that to the oil rig. Then we're also going to need to get one to the damaged cargo ship so we can get that repaired. So he's off. He's going to go and deliver that stuff. How's this getting along? It's getting along pretty okay. It's weird, right? Because um, from what we've done today, it doesn't look like a lot. But I've been playing for about around an hour and a half, two hours. Okay, I'm going to put storage down where the farms are. I don't think it's going to be needed right now. Um, but I'm just going to add them with a conveyor belt coming out. Actually, will it be a conveyor belt? It'll be no, it'll be a loose one. Loose into the... Into the... Oh, crap. It's the wrong building. Delete. Delete. Oh, my God. They were so fast at building that. Holy moly. It's the loose storage I need. I guess we'll do this one, and then I can copy this one over. You into there, and then you're going to be set to potatoes. Right, then we can put this one here. Oh, I can't put that there because of the terrain. Uh. Because of the terrain. Well, that's a pain. 
that is literally a pain. I might just go have to get an excavator in here just to remove some of the, <laughs> some of the terrain here. But the oil rig is now up and ready. And wow, it has one million oil. Well, one point one million and forty thousand oil with an estimated year lifespan of one thousand six hundred and four point nine. We could upgrade it as well, which I'm going to guess will give us more product per minute because right now we're only getting 54 per minute and that will go into stored product and then the ship will go over there and pick it up. So let's send him over here to deliver the cargo for the iron plates to fix the cargo ship. But to be honest, I don't think we need to set that up just yet because it does look like our oil is fine at the minute. You know, we have like 45,000 left to just over. So we're okay for now. We can now though add a water facility to the actual base. Well, to the base of the colony. Um, and we're just going to kind of add it here, I guess. Oh, it's got wastewater as well. Okay. Um, let's add you down here. Here then let's add a water storage to here and then we're going to need a waste liquid dump um i'm just wondering how the the, the kind of utilizing this area unless they unless they drive around i guess because we can put that there then get a pipe and just connect that straight up connect you straight up to there and then we're going to need a pipe coming from a, a another liquid dump well i say a liquid dump but another liquid pump so I need a groundwater pump again. Maybe I should... Well, they've not even finished this one yet. So let's copy that. And then bring this all the way down here. We're literally going to have a pipe highway. I'm going to presume we get pipe mark twos as well. Oh, this has to come quite a bit of a distance. And then I should be able to just take it behind here. And then connect that up to here. Oh, no, that's the wrong output. Needs to go to there and then into there. That's a bit weird looking, isn't it? <laughs> it kind of goes up and then back down again. <laughs> but I do need to assign this to be wastewater. And then also, Bryla or Forester doesn't have any trees to cut down. So we're going to start getting to cut these down. And our potatoes are going back up as well. So, well, our food, I should say. We've got back up to 24 months. It was only the last episode I was saying we had like 90 as well. So that's come down fast. Okay, so it looks like this ship's been repaired, but I'm going to guess we're going to need a research for another dock somewhere. The cargo depot. We need this because that's going to give us cargo ship technology, uh, cargo depot 2, fluid module, loose module, and unit module. So if we want to bring in that oil, we need to get this up and running, which requires us to get the research lab 2, which I think we have, right? No, we don't have. So we need the research lab too, which will also give us a new recipe for research parts, lab, lab equipment. So we need to make them, we shall then go into research lab too, to then allow us to unlock new things. But these are still under construction. I don't know how long these are going to take because obviously we've just run out of new enough construction parts from a little bit of mass building we've done. But I feel like we should end this one here. Um, so thank you so much for watching. I know it doesn't look like we've got much done, but it is going to be one of them slow progressing building types of playthroughs. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Keep smiling and I'll see you in another video.